Welcome back. Some new information for you about the Orlando killer's ties to terror. Omar Mateen, he traveled to Saudi Arabia, we now know that, in 2011 and 2012, and he was investigated by the FBA. If FBI twice after that in yeah. 2013 and 2014. Something that we didn't learn until yesterday. And also a former classmate describing his disturbing reaction to the terrorist attacks on 9-11. Listen. I rode the bus with him and um, on the day of the 9-11 attacks uh, when he got on my school bus uh, he, he acted like he was a plane. He would uh, hold his arms out by his sides and make plane noises. And he would, uh, when he got to his seat, he would stop and make an explosion type of sound. And then he would fall into his seat. On that day, he fell into his seat and uh, started making like screaming type noises and started laughing about it and acting like it was a big joke. Mm. Well, his father, a Taliban supporter, is originally from Afghanistan, so is his mother. Uh, joining us now, Ryan Morrow, he's a national security analyst for the Clarion Project and a terror expert. He's also uh, standing by for us. Uh, thank you so much for joining us this morning once again, Ryan. Thank you. Um, so, Ryan, what have we discovered about his family, his father specifically? Well, we know that he referred to the Taliban as his warrior brothers, and frankly, I don't believe his father or his imam or anyone else that says that there are no signs of extremism because you're hearing all of this testimony. So we hear about how he allegedly celebrated 9-11. Uh, he was essentially a loudmouth. He broadcasted his extremism. So when the father says that he had a typical American life, I don't find that to be very credible. And these are the type of things that we should expect those around him to say, because if they admit that they saw extremism, then it raises the question of what they did about it, if anything. Hmm. And legally, what now can they do in terms of looking a little bit deeper into his family, into his dad, into their background? Can they go in their apartment? Can they search? How much can they actually do to get more information about it? Well, they would have to have the necessary information to go in there and say that they're, they have probable cause that there's evidence of illegal activity going on in there. I'm interested in seeing what type of money was going into his father's nonprofit, where it was being spent, because he had a TV show uh, where he would go on, he would say things like supporting the Taliban. I'm also interested in all of the different connections that the shooter had. Uh, we recently learned, thanks to Fox News, about his connection to someone that was connected to the Blind Shake from the 1993 World Trade center bombing and has an online radical school. So he was not a really a lone wolf or self-radicalized. He was part of a pack. Yeah, it really makes no sense when you look at the timeline, having traveled to Saudi Arabia um, back in 2010 and 2011, prior to the time that the FBI investigated him. And when the FBI investigated him, he was possibly linked to uh, the first American um, who blew himself up in Syria. Uh, going back to the father and what they potentially may find there. We were told yesterday that they did search their home and they had some electronic evidence as well. Um, and you mentioned the nonprofit that they ran out of the home. They ran like four different businesses out of that home. Is that correct? That address? Well, according to the reports out there, there were several individuals there, and then there's also several individuals at the board of directors that we, the public anyway, don't know much about, but you can bet the authorities are looking into it. And just quickly, he had used that um, television show also to speak out against homosexuals and gays, right? The father. That's right. So when the father says he doesn't know where this came from, uh, he knows where it came from. It came from him. Hmm. I think you've made a good point, and tracing the money is going to be very, very important. Ryan Morrow, thanks for being with us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank well, you. The time now.